So not only is it, I think, cool that the audience and the fans chimed in and did all this, there were definitely three top winners of the cutest moments of Pitbulls that and several, A lot of people voted for. Mm hmm the top votes. Well, it may be number three, but it is my favorite. Roxy? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep. Back. This is why it was my favorite, because as a dog rescuer, we have to make decisions on dogs being adoptable or not. OK, what's up, Mondo? I can't even get near the dog. I mean, honestly, I need your help. Roxy Mama was a dog that we took in back in California. We had heard that the owner got arrested for drugs and had maybe sent to a rehab somewhere. If one of us slips up, one of us is getting bit. You know, Roxy Mama was with us for a year and a half mm -hmm. and never changed. She was acting aggressive oh, to I everybody. She was extremely human aggressive to the point where only I handled her, and that was barely. You know, at what point do you say, we've tried, we've tried, we've tried, and there's just no hope for this dog? We had the TV show to thank. She saw her episode on TV, emailed us, and it was a miracle. Because if ever there was a dog that needed to go back to its owner, it was her. Because what happened if she didn't remember her mm -hmm. mom and tried to go mm -hmm. after her? A lot of dogs, you know, they don't really remember their owners. So I was concerned that after a year and a half, that Roxy Mama would not be so receptive to being reunited. Come here. Mama! Mama! Hi, Mama! Hi, baby girl! Hi, Mama! Okay. Hi, Mama! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm bawling my eyes out. I'm looking over. Crew is so emotional. It was like, that's that. Um, and look at this. So emotional. You know, I haven't seen her act like this in a while. <laughs> this is so awesome. I love you, Mama. Roxy, you know, she knows some tricks. Like, Roxy, yeah, watch. You want to show your tricks? Sit. Shake. Oh, wait, ah, wait, wait. Ah, Roxy, shake. No. OK, other paw. Other paw. Good oh, girl. <laughs> To this day, her and Cheryl are still together. Oh, good. Yeah. Your number, so two. number two is Curtis. Aww. So Megan A said, mine is Curtis's happy ending. To me, it was the true nature of a pit bull and why we love them so much. They can overcome such horror and still desperately love people. I think that was our first gunshot victim. He's not feeling good. When Curtis was brought to us, we thought he was dead at first. We saw that he had been shot. Maggots. So many maggots. His shoulder blades broken right there. That's why I feel like that. He woke up he, one. And I was like, he's waking up. We could tell that he was shot from behind, which means he was walking away. I've real. never even had to deal with something that gnarly. Yeah, it was, it was really horrible. In spite of his shattered shoulder, his broken leg, laying in the heat for who knows how long, caused by a human, Curtis was so welcoming for our help. Hi, buddy. Hey. Looks a little bit different hey. from the last time I saw it. <laughs> huh? Oh, look, look at you done up. You know, the team at Cypress Lake Animal Hospital, they checked in with us, would tell us that he's recovering great. This is him. All day. Oh, my God. All day, coming in. Look at him. All day. <laughs> Oh, my God. You know, after he was healed, we could see that he had some Sharpay in him with his fat little face. He was just, he wanted to just squish him. He was so cute. Oh, my God, he's so cute. And he ended up stealing the heart of one of the vet techs there. He's hard not to fall in love with. Hmm. Aw, he's yeah. you talking about me. So I've been thinking, and I think I want to adopt him. So, oh. I have a six-year-old, and they're like best friends ever. Yeah. Oh my God. To watch where he came from, what he went through, to where he is now. You know, by far one of the fastest turnarounds we've ever had. Oh my God, really? Such an inspiring story. He's one of the good ones. Curtis was definitely one of the good ones. Curtis needed somebody to love, and JD is that boy to love him. It's, you know, they're two peas in a pod. But look at him now. He's a really, really amazing dog, too. Yeah. Not even just because oh, of what he went through, but just. Dog. I already know what number one is. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the cutest dog in the world. Blanche. Blanche. <laughs> her running down the hallway with her cast on. Yeah, that was cute. She's cute. Uh, Vanessa R.S. Blanche the puppy had the cast on, still playful and silly despite her issues, and probably the cutest pup I've ever seen. Fell in love with her. All of us did. This is Blanche. Oh my god. 
Two sugarcane farmers out here in Assumption Parish found this little puppy in the middle of their field. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think she came from somebody around there. I think they saw her legs the way they are, did not have the means to take care of that, and they knew that these farmers were dog lovers. But the good news is, is that you look how short, straight you can get her. Right, right, right. So it is possible it's, that we can get it. Yeah. Right. So I think we're gonna try and splint her. I don't know if she's gonna tolerate it. Ooh. Dr. Kristen ended up splinting her legs and said that it was just an abnormality, but with proper management and nutrition, they can be good as new. Oh, that is so cute. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> oh, she's gonna. She'll figure it out. Oh, no. Oh, poor thing. It's not forever. Oh. oh, stand up. There you go. Good job. She'll get it. You're like Pinocchio. You're like Pinocchio. <laughs> Put me the wax. OK, so what you can do. Gosh, she's so cute. Within, I want to say, under a month, Blanche was like good as new. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was cute. cute. That was really good.